Hayes is a complex character with a mix of leadership, entitlement, and ambiguity. He inherits the Energy Corporation from his father, which has led to a significant change in his demeanor. His past reveals a softer, more vulnerable side, particularly his passionate relationship with Meridienne, showcasing mutual respect and understanding. His dependency on Natasda after the loss of his parents highlights a deep-seated need for support and guidance. Blaze's thirst for power and influence, coupled with the tragedies he has faced, has tainted his worldview, leading to multiple controversies and implicating him in Axel's persecution. His treatment of Natasda and her child demonstrates potential for manipulation and control. Blaze's leadership of the Energy Corporation defines much of his professional life, but his personal life, interwoven with professional decisions, complicates his narrative. His connections to key characters like Axel, Meridienne, and Natasda form the crux of many plot lines. Meridienne mirrors his own complexities, while Natasda represents a vulnerable aspect of his past. In conclusion, Blaze is a testament to the intricacies of human nature, shaped by personal tragedies, responsibilities, and connections. His character oscillates between being a leader, lover, user, and seeker, making him a pivotal character in the narrative. Armando, a character with Latin, Italian, and Portuguese origins, is a soldier with a romantic streak. His physical appearance is striking, with a golden blonde mane and precision in movements. His voice is slow and harsh, leaving an indelible mark on listeners. Armando shares a deeply rooted bond with Blaze, their connection tracing back to their formative years. Their military background and expertise as a hunter further emphasize his disciplined and focused nature. Armando is the embodiment of anticipation, always two steps ahead, with an acute attentiveness that rarely misses a detail. His athletic prowess and disciplined demeanor set him apart, but there's an aloofness to him, characterized by his asocial tendencies and seemingly cold exterior. Post-transformation, the tides of romance touch his shores, leading him to confront emotions he had never felt before. Armando's sartorial choices reflect his disciplined nature, leaning towards classic brands like Ralph Lauren and Lacoste. His intellectual abilities tilt heavily towards a high IQ, allowing him to meticulously evaluate situations and detect inconsistencies in conversations. His lower EQ means he might struggle with understanding or expressing emotions, but his strengths lie in his ability to concentrate in silence, observe minutiae, and offer crucial insights when Blaze needs them. Behind the polished exterior and the disciplined facade, Armando grapples with a suppressed obsession for Blaze, revealing a vulnerability that he refuses to confront. In conclusion, Armando is a complex character who intertwines the rigid discipline of a soldier with the gentle undercurrents of suppressed emotion. Nadezda, a character from Bulgaria, is a caregiver who prioritizes the needs and welfare of others, often at the expense of their own well-being. Her life is marked by challenging circumstances, including wars and personal adversities. Despite these, her parents ensure her security, employment, and a healthy child. Nadezda's traits include understanding, tolerance, forgiveness, and docility, making her a saint, altruist, parent, helper, and supporter. She is the cornerstone of support for many, especially Blaze, and her all-centeredness and tidiness reflect a meticulousness and universality in her caregiving nature. However, Nadezda's extreme commitment to the well-being of others is both her strength and her vulnerability. She sometimes sacrifices too much, leading her to the brink of martyrdom, which puts her at risk of being exploited. Blaze's dependency on Nadezda is profound, and her loyalty to him sometimes overshadows her responsibilities and connections with her own child. Her son's upbringing, heavily influenced by Blaze's presence without the official status of family, further complicates their relationship. In conclusion, Nadezda is the quintessential caregiver, prioritizing the needs and well-being of those around her, even at the expense of her personal happiness and comfort. Her selfless nature often blurs the lines between genuine caregiving and self-sacrifice, leading her into situations that test her resilience and loyalty. Shavdar, a character based on Jung's archetype of the rebel, is a rebel with a strong desire for retribution or revolution. His greatest fear is helplessness, which manifests in his strategies of disruption, demolition, or shock. Shavdar embodies several traits of the rebel archetype, including intelligence, bravery, charisma, gallantry, loyalty, heroism, and a protective, macho demeanor. At around, 
Chavdar's physical appearance embodies strength, resilience, and masculinity. His past is intertwined with the Cyboat, a vessel that became his refuge after family abandonment. The Cyboat community nurtured him and fortified his ties to the group. His romantic involvement with Angel and their shared dreams of reaching the Sip Islands further ground him in this community. Shavadar's personality and skills are street smart and versatile, excelling in various skills such as fishing, construction, scuba diving, and culinary arts. His leadership shines through under duress, showcasing his ability to keep calm and guide his community. His cultural and familial connections are steeped in cultural nuances, but his traumatic brain transfer leaves him with fractured memories waiting to be unraveled upon his arrival on the Sip Islands. Shavadar grapples with immense guilt and a profound sense of responsibility as he learns of his inadvertent role in the apocalypse. The capture of Angel accelerates his evolution from a passive member to the leading light of a rebellion. Chavdar's narrative arc promises a compelling blend of introspection, action, and transformation, making him not just a traditional rebel but also a figure of hope and redemption. Dragon, a character in Jung's The Jester, is a charismatic and outgoing individual who seeks immediate satisfaction and joy. His traits, such as carefreeness, impulsivity, and hedonistic zest, make him captivating but also lead to weaknesses like jealousy, carelessness, recklessness, and unfocused nature. At Dragon's charisma and good looks make him a powerful tool for manipulation and control. His upbringing was interrupted during a brain transfer, resulting in the replication of Chavdar's consciousness in a new body, now known as Dragon. He is raised in a world of luxury and privilege, with Blaze as his guardian figure. The tension between Dragon and Armando is deep, with Dragon often acting on his impulses and Armando predicting and preparing for the aftermath. Dragon's fascination with mechanical humans and BDSM, combined with his violent tendencies, creates a volatile mix of aggression, irritation, and detachment from reality. His fashion sense is characterized by his penchant for the opulent, and his frequent drug-induced manic episodes have severed his ties with rationality and common sense. Dragon's popularity among peers is due to his charisma and his position in Blaze's family. However, his emotional state and mental health are severely affected by his aggressive impulses and irritable demeanor. His extroverted nature and position in Blaze's family provide him with a sense of pride and security. The revelation of the truth behind Dragon's existence promises to be a pivotal moment in his life, prompting significant character evolution. In conclusion, Dragon is a complex character navigating the duality of his existence, as he is both the charismatic life of the party and a tortured soul battling his own demons. Meridian, a character based on Jung's archetype of the magician, is a charismatic and enigmatic force who can mold realities and alter fates. She is steeped in the lore of magic and spiritualism, embodying roles such as shaman, healer, visionary, and catalyst. Meridian's physical appearance and flirtatious demeanor embody her mystique, power, and leadership. Despite her formidable strengths, Meridian is not without flaws. Her biggest concern lies in unintended consequences, possibly stemming from her expansive powers and the intricate balance of the spiritual universe she governs. Her ability to manipulate situations and people can be both a strength and a potential pitfall. Her relationship with Blaze demonstrates the complexity and depth of her character as they shared a passionate, long-lasting bond based on the opposites attract paradigm. Despite their significant character shifts, their mutual respect remained intact, highlighting Meridian's capacity for enduring connections and understanding. Meridian is not just a leader but also an architect of reality, sealing off numerous islands through collective meditation. She is strategic in her leadership, knowing when to delegate, allowing other masters to address matters that demand their expertise. In conclusion, Meridian is a multifaceted character who bridges the realms of magic, leadership, and personal relationships. Her archetype as the magician is realized through her transformative powers, visionary leadership, and ability to influence realities. Her relationship dynamics, particularly with Blaze, add layers to her persona, revealing her as an ethereal and deeply human character. Angle, a character based on Jung's archetype The Innocent, is a young woman with a youthful beauty and a strong sense of optimism. Her physical attributes, such as her slender frame, blonde hair, and stunning appearance, make her an embodiment of innocence and grace. 
Despite her lack of a bright or well-read nature angle, exudes positivity and trust, making her likable and a beacon of warmth and care. Throughout the narrative, Angle faces profound trauma, including the kidnapping of her unborn child and her transformation into a cyborg. This trauma causes her to lose touch with her foundational nature of positivity and love while clinging to outdated ideals, creating a dichotomy in her behavior. This duality paints a picture of a character grappling with identity and the consequences of external actions on her inner psyche. Angle's relationship with Chavdar is central to the story, as their shared secret about their impending parenthood highlights a bond that is later tested when she undergoes the cyborg transformation. Her reluctance to accept her new body and her refusal to allow Chavdar near underscore the deep emotional turmoil she faces. Engel's innocence and naivety are also her Achilles heel, as her lack of worldly wisdom becomes increasingly evident as she faces traumas and transformation. Her physical and emotional evolution, including her journey regarding sexuality, adds depth to her character. In conclusion, Engel is a poignant character whose journey from innocence to trauma to transformation offers a deep exploration of the human psyche, identity, and the battle between innate nature and external forces. Axel is a character deeply rooted in Carl Jung's archetype of the hero, characterized by determination, bravery, and commitment to a cause. As a successful attorney with a doctoral degree in criminal justice and criminology, Axel has a sharp intellect and analytical prowess, which is particularly useful in his quest for justice and truth. Axel's strengths include alertness, consistency, a hard-working nature, focus, patience, and unwavering determination. His familial nature signifies the value he places on personal relationships and connections. However, his thirst for constant conflict and cockiness can sometimes cloud his judgment. Axel's journey is marked by personal struggles, including being wrongly accused of a crime committed by Blaze and being estranged from his family. His crew's loyalty is a testament to his leadership and character, even in the face of adversity. One of the few relationships he maintains with the outer world is with Keres's girl Bimbo No. 3, which may provide a glimpse into his softer side or a strategic alliance. Axel's path is set on a collision course with several key players in the story, including his entry into Cyboat Society, the discovery of Angelus's disappearance, and Chavdar's role in it. While initially focused on revenge and vindication, Axel's involvement with society may push him toward larger truths. In conclusion, Axel is a multi-dimensional character that represents both the hero's determination and the human's inherent flaws. Is a singular combination of scientific brilliance, moral ambiguity, and detached humanism that draws inspiration from Jung's archetype of the creator. Drawing inspiration from Jung's belief that anything is possible if you can dream it as me is dedicated to honing his artistic vision and sharing it with the world. A fair, diligent, and cerebral individual who is also innovative, motivated by monetary gains, and rather irreligious. He operates on a plane of forward thinking, being somewhat aloof and detached, prioritizing his scientific endeavors above all. His intellect and innovation are awe-inspiring, but he also has an arrogant and haughty demeanor, with traces of cruelty evident in his professional dealings. Asmi is a natural hermit who resides at the North Pole in the midst of cutting-edge equipment and high-tech gadgets. He operates from an expansive underground lab, conducting unparalleled brain transfers and using energy as currency. He stands as an emblem of scientific breakthroughs, even dabbling in space exploration. Asmi commands a fleet of sub-scientists, working in oppressive conditions under stringent rule. His interactions with the Cyboat medical team and the character the teacher further amplify his influence and reach or peculiar neutrality, safeguarding secrets as part of his contracts. Sami's personality and behavior project an aura of reassurance. With a calm and poised demeanor and technical jargon in his speech, he views life as an illusion matrix, disregarding conventional humanist virtues and focusing on deciphering the code and achieving maximum potential. These interests include solitary walks in the snow, the invention of a technique to transfer the human brain onto rayon, and performing a caesarean section on Anja. His interactions, values, and decisions promise a character trajectory filled with intrigue, moral dilemmas, and scientific marvels, making him an integral and riveting component of the narrative.